Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve issues you might have with YouTube errors. Specifically, if you get the common video or rendering error that says an error occurred, please try again later. So, there could be a variety of issues causing this. However, I did want to make a brief tutorial showing how to hopefully resolve this issue for you guys. Now, typically, um, this stems a little bit deeper than just a YouTube issue. It's more or less a potential DNS issue as well. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to change your DNS settings to reroute to the Google servers. So it definitely is safe, it's legitimate, and it's completely hosted by Google, so it's a very safe. And you might actually even notice a speed increase when switching over to Google for your DNS servers. Now there's no charge or anything, it's completely free. I've already made tutorials about this in the past and some of you guys might be familiar with this. Um, I know there are some anti-malware applications that will actually change your DNS settings uh, to make your browsing a little bit more secure. When you're switching over to Google, there's definitely a chance that it, you will notice a slight increase in your internet speed. But getting back on track here, we're going to head over to the Start menu and we're going to type in Network and Sharing Center. On Windows 10 devices, it should be listed directly above Control Panel. On Windows 8 and older versions, it should just say Network and Sharing Center when you type it into the search menu. So we're just going to open that up here. So across from Network, whatever connection type is listed here, you're going to left click on it. In my case, it says Ethernet, but in many of your guys' cases, it might say Local Area Connection. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to left click on that. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it says properties and left click on that button. We're going to left click on where it says internet protocol version 4 TCP forward slash IPv4. Just so left click on that and then select the properties button at the bottom of this window. In the bottom selection uh, select use the following DNS server address by left clicking this little circle. So and then underneath preferred DNS server type 8 and then using your mouse click into the next section and then type 8 again then 8 again and then 8 again. The alternate DNS server select 8 and then put 8 again and then 4 and then another 4. So the top one should say 8.8.8.8 and the bottom one should say 8.8.4.4. Make sure all of your numbers are spaced out evenly and that there's not two numbers consolidated against each other. It's very important that your screen looks like this. If for some reason you're having an issue and it does not look like what it shows right here, you're going to have some real big issues to deal with potentially um, once you do it because there's a chance that you will not have internet access so make sure you type this in exactly how it's shown on this screen and in the worst case scenario I guess you could honestly just select obtain DNS server just automatically if you have an issue with this but generally if I find that this actually will fix most issues related to these kind of error alerts and then once you're done doing that you can check mark this little box that says validate settings upon exit just to be safe so we're actually going to do that, and then we're going to select OK. And then we're going to close out of here. So right now, Windows Network Diagnostics is just going to do a quick little run. That just pretty much comes about by selecting that little checkbox. And it shouldn't come up with anything. And if we're trying to open up our web browser, And let's say we navigate over to YouTube. And let's say we head over to my channel here. So if we just check out the video on my home page and I start playing it, we see that it does start loading and you guys should not have any problems from here. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.